This is Kilo, and this video is for one of our commercial accounts who, you know, we mentioned that we had a YouTube channel, and they asked us if, you know, this type of lock was uh, very secure, if it's worth the money. Um, he, the uh, company who requested this video is a small company, and they have a few vans, and they're wanting to, you know, purchase this style lock and they were saying you know i've seen these masters at home depot are they worth it so i know that master gets a lot of hate on youtube on social media in the lock sport locksmith community um more so in the lock sport community as you have you know these types of padlocks that they're picking left and right with toothpicks um, when it comes to this lock here, this is probably the best lock master has ever come out with. And I will show you why. So the way that this works, it's where, you know, let's say you have your work van that your doors open, you know, like an ambulance, you know, like a barn door, basically. You would have one of these plates on each side and at the end of the day, you would lock him up and it secures them together. So that way, if somebody were to, you know, manipulate the lock or pick the lock, they couldn't open the doors anyway because this is holding them in place. To open it and unlock it, you insert your key, you turn it to the right, you pull out the core, and you are able to remove this puck here. Now, to show you what that's doing, you turn the key, and as you pull the core, it's got this paw connected, you know, in the back, so it's not gonna allow you to pull it all the way out. But this paw here aligns with these hasps here. So when the doors are shut, you would pull the core out. We will turn him around, set him back on top, push him in, Turn the key back to the left, remove it, and now we cannot, you know, no one's going to break into our van. So these are extremely solid. Like if somebody wants to really drill into it, obviously they're going to, but it's going to take hours. Most of your common thieves and burglars are opportunistic. So if they, you know, wanted to try and plan this and they bring an electric drill, it's not going to be enough with just one electric drill and a couple of bits. These these are really tough to uh, to drill, especially if you're not experienced drilling into locks. So for a common thief, you know, maybe something like this, this is not going to protect anything. This, however, will. Now, the question on this was, you know, would a lock picker be able to pick this open so let me go ahead and turn this to the side and just kind of show you guys this is how much room you have to play with and if you notice with the key here we'll insert him you cannot turn him to the left so you cannot turn him towards you he has to go towards the plate this is significant because let me show you with a tension tool these are the most common that a burglar is going to get their hands on they could just make this out of this is made out of windshield wiper insert normally you would put this in the bottom of the keyway and tension now the only way to get this core to turn is to turn him towards the plate obviously they're not going to get anything out of this there's no way to tension this with a bottom of the keyway so you would need top of the keyway. Very rarely is somebody, you know, in the lock sport community gonna try and go break into someone's work van. Like hobbyists are the only ones that even know these tools really exist. It's, you know, a thief is not gonna go and research this. They're gonna just try and, and take what they want very quickly. But if they wanted to try, they could insert this Again, let me lift this up. It's quite heavy here. But they would have to insert him here, and they could crank up this way as they're picking. 
Now to show you just another example, we're going to just go ahead and take, uh, let's go ahead and take this snake here. Let me set this down for just a moment. We'll go ahead and grab the snake rake. And the way that you're going to have to pick this, you're not going to have a lot of room. You're right against this plate. So now you're going to be sitting here with this tension tool that they're going to have that's homemade, probably out of a paper clip. And they're going to have to hold it and they're going to have to start picking, you know, this way. And look what happens as I'm picking. This puck dances around quite a bit. And you would think, you know, that's kind of terrible that it jiggles like that. It actually makes this harder to pick because of that. I don't know if that was intentional on Master's part or just sloppy uh, designing, but that actually works in Master's favor here as it, it contributes to it being very difficult to pick. Now, you know, if we're going to try and pick this, you know, let me adjust the camera just to kind of show you guys. The way that this is going to look on a work van, it's going to be flat against the car door. So you are only going to have, let me move this just enough to see the keyway there. You're only going to have this much room here. Like, I have enough room just to get my fingertip. You know, it's actually pressing into my fingertip as I'm doing this. Just to show you how much room you have to work with. And then you're going to have to sit there and hope that you're going to try and pick this. And look what's happening. I'm, I'm wobbling the puck. So, this is definitely, you're, you know, you're going to have to press against the puck and try to get that to stop. You're going to hold this up. So obviously, you know, someone that knows what they're doing, you're going to be able to pick this on its own. You, know, you can take this puck off and do it. In the dark, you know, when someone's going to try and break into one of these normally, um, it's very rare that someone's going to try and just break into this in the daytime. Um, they are they're going to have a very low percentage chance of picking your lock. They're going to have a hell of a time trying to drill into this lock. So honestly, this is the Master Model M736, just for those who want to know. Now, on the box, it does show max pick resistance, the best cut resistance, and it is a level 10 on their security scale here. This is like the highest I've ever seen one of these rated. I don't really have a lot of master locks in the shop. And obviously it's going to be cut resistance because there's nothing to cut. Like, you know, I mean, I guess you can try and take a, a grinder to these welds here. But again, an opportunistic thief is not going to be carrying around all of these tools in his hoodie, you know? Um, if anything, he might carry a drill and he's going to, you know, start drilling and he's not really even going to know where to drill as, you know, the obvious points I'm not going to point out on the video, but, um, you know, they might look at it as any other lock and drill straight down the center of it. So, you know, this honestly, in my opinion, as a locksmith for many years, this is the best lock master sells, in my opinion. Um, and to point out one more thing, this lock is really only as secure as the bolts that you secure it with. So on master's side of things, this is a perfect lock um, for a consumer. I know these are anywhere from 40 to $50 um, American. So it's not a you know a cheap lock by any means 40 and 50 dollars is, is a decent amount of money for a lock and it is definitely what you need for your vehicle at you know your company i am not being paid i'm not endorsed by master or anything again this was just a question from one of our commercial accounts asking if this was worth it and from a locksmith 
you know, from my point of view, yes, this lock is definitely worth the money. Um, I would secure our vehicles with this, to be completely honest with you. Um, we have a different brand, obviously, that we use. Um, we just have a deal with a company. But if, you know, we didn't, this is actually a really a tough lock. And for all of the hate that Master gets, this deserves praise. Like, I've, I've got to hand it to Master. And, you know, most, you know, Master locks you're watching people pick with two picks, they're four pin locks. You can't tell because on this particular lock, the first cut is like a one or a zero. It's just barely anything, but uh, it looks kind of like a one. But you see, it's a five pin lock, which makes it tough. Um, the one thing that you want to look for when you do buy a master lock or any padlock is the bidding of the key here. So let me go ahead and move the camera back around. So when you have bidding that's, um, I don't have a key here that, let's see, let me show you here on this quick set. You see how there's only, it just looks like there's only two cuts. There's actually, if you hold it at an angle, all of these, these three one cuts. This is a really easy lock to pick. All that, all that the picker has to do is pick these two pins and it'll pick, it'll pick over when you come across a lock, any lock that you buy at the hardware store, always check the bidding on the key. On this Brinks key here, look at that bidding. That bidding is, is it's pretty groovy, you know? It's not like incredible, but it's gonna you know present a challenge. A lot of these lower cuts, that means the pin is gonna hang down further and kind of block their view. So, I mean, it's, it's just always a good, you know, regardless of which lock you, you buy, always check the bidding on the key. And I know that a lot of on master locks, a lot of them are, are like sitting in something where like on the cardboard where you can't even see the key before you even buy it, like open the package and just kind of get an eye, like look at the bidding, like master should really not do that and hide the bidding. Um, you should be able to see it because that I feel is really important in purchasing a lock is seeing the bidding. Unless you're a locksmith or you have a pinning kit where you can um, cut a key yourself and key it up. Uh, but aside from, you know, that, this lock here is definitely, in my opinion, as a locksmith, 100% worth the price tag. So I just wanted to go ahead and make this video just to um, help them out and help any, any other company, you know, looking to purchase a lock like this definitely gets our recommendation thumbs up. So that's all there is to this video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, more lock reviews that may be coming your way, uh, feel free to subscribe. And as always, you know, stay safe, stay legal, and have a nice day. So one more quick thing that I wanted to add to the end of this video here, I almost forgot, was because this is a really tough lock to pick, and to really get into for even a locksmith, um, this is gonna be a heck of a job. Um, on this package here, if we take it and we spin it around to the back, you have a key code. If you are a company or just anybody who buys this lock for any reason, do not just throw this package away. Write this code down or save this box or cut this you know, a piece of cardboard out and save this in a file cabinet or somewhere. Because if you lose the key, you could just take this code to a locksmith and they can just go ahead and make you a key. That way you don't have to risk damaging your door or anything else. Um, I just wanted to, to throw that out there. Um, it's kind of cool. Sometimes Master Lock does throw the code on the back. So always look for that just in case you ever lose your key. Go ahead and bring this to a lock shop and they'll have a key made for you in just a couple of seconds so just wanted to go ahead and throw this in there you guys all have a nice day